Hello everyone. So as a part of this session uh, in the test engine series, uh, we will see how we can run a single test engine test in parallel with the different set of test data. Okay, by using the data provider. So we have already seen that data provider will be used if you want a test engine test should run uh, with the different set of test data. Okay, so that test data we will store in the data provider, and that data will be given to our test engine test. Okay. So while running that test engine test, whatever data uh, it is required, it will be fetched from this data provider. Okay, so that means we are going to run the multiple data providers uh, inputs in parallel. Okay, and another thing that we are going to see is how to run multiple test suits in single execution. Okay, so in our project we can have multiple test engine suits. Okay, so test engine suit means multiple test engine XML files, right? So how we can run those XML files in a single execution i don't have to be required uh, to run those test ng xml files one after another okay separately all those uh, test ng xml files should run when i start my execution okay so for the demonstration purpose our uh, test is very simple uh, we will open the chrome browser or firefox browser and in that we will open the amazon.in in that we are going to click on this best seller link okay, and we are going to assert this amazon best seller uh, text is present or not on this page okay so this is the simple test so this test I want to run on the Chrome browser as well as on the Firefox browser. So let's move to the coding part now. So I have created this Amazon test.java in that we have this uh, best seller page test. Okay. So here we are going to get the input for the browser name. Okay. If it is Chrome and Firefox, depending upon that, we are going to set up our Chrome driver or Firefox driver. So that input we are going to get from the data provider whose name is tested data. Okay. So in the previous session, we already seen how we can define the data provider. So this is the annotation you have to use at the red data provider and give some name. Okay. So test data is the name of our data provider. Okay. So this is the Java method get a data. So this method is going to return the uh, two dimensional array object, right? So in that I have stored the browser names. Okay. So I want to run this best seller page test uh, test ng test for Chrome browser and Firefox browser. So in this data provider, I have stored Chrome browser and Firefox browser. Okay, so these two inputs I am going to provide to my test ng test method. Okay, so these inputs browser name Chrome and Firefox will be used to run this test ng test. Okay, so this is the use of your data provider. So first let's uh, run this test uh, sequentially by using this uh, data from this data provider. Okay, so for that purpose you just need to click on this run. Okay, so first input will be the Chrome. So that will be given to this test and it will set up the Chrome driver. So our test is executing on the Chrome browser. So it has clicked on the best seller and it will assert this best Amazon best seller text. And then it will close the browser. So same test will start on the Firefox browser now. So this is how we have given the different parameters to our test ng test. Okay, simple parameterization example with the data provider. Now, what I want, I want to run this test in parallel. Okay, so we know the same test is going to run on the Chrome and Firefox, but previously it has run sequentially, but now we will see how we can run those in parallel. So execution on the Chrome browser and Firefox browser should start simultaneously. So for that purpose, you just need to use one more uh, attribute here, okay, for the data provider. So just provide the comma here. Okay, after giving the name of uh, your data provider, just give the comma and provide here parallel attribute. And you need to set this parallel attribute to the true. So this attribute is going to accept the Boolean values true or false. So we have set this equal to true. That means both Chrome and Firefox values will be given to this test engine test. Okay, simultaneously. Okay, so for the first test, it will open the Chrome browser and at the same time, the Firefox will be given, so it will set up the Chrome uh, Firefox driver also. Okay, so we will see that execution is happening on the both browser parallelly. So if we run this test, okay, so we can see Firefox has launched and this is the Chrome. So execution is happening simultaneously now. Okay, so execution has completed. You can see in the default suit we have 
this best seller page test for the Firefox. Okay, it has taken the 25 second and for the Chrome it has taken the 32 second. So this is how you can send the multiple inputs for the same test and test by using the data provider. And if you want, as per your requirement, you can run this test in parallel by using this parallel attribute. So now uh, let's see how you can run the multiple test ng suits in single execution. So in our project, I have created two test ng suit files. So this is the test ng suit one dot xml. So here we are going to run the Amazon test. Okay. So whatever test available in this Amazon test dot Java, all those tests will be executed. And we have another uh, xml file. Okay. So this is the test ng suit two dot xml. And here we are going to run this Flipkart test. Okay, so in the Flipkart test also I have used the data provider. Okay, again Chrome and Firefox. So in this uh, we are going to open the Flipkart.com and we are going to assert one uh, field on the login pop-up. Okay, so that we will see while executing this test. So let's uh, run this uh, login page test uh, using the XML file first. So it will uh, simply go to the flipkart.com and uh, on this login pop-up you are going to assert one field. So it was quite fast. Let me show you on the Firefox. So this is the text new to flipkart we are going to assert. Okay. So this is how uh, for example we have multiple test ng xml files in our project okay so you can have regression xml you can have sanity smoke so what i want is i want to run all those xml files in a single execution i don't have to require uh, to run this xml file separately while going to that project run this as test ng suit after uh, executing first uh, this xml file again go to the another xml file again run the xml file separately so what i want uh, whatever xml files available in my project Okay, so execution for all those uh, XML files should start uh, automatically. Okay, one after another. So for that purpose, you just need to create a separate uh, test ng XML file. Okay, like this, and in that uh, you need to provide the suit XML files details. Okay, so here you need to use the suit files, and you need to provide the suit file path. Right. So uh, currently I have two uh, test ng XML files. Okay, test ng suit one dot XML and test ng suit dot uh, suit2.xml okay so these are the two xml files i want to run in single execution so i don't require to run these xml files separately like this okay one after another what i can do is i have created this automation.xml file and i have provided the details about the uh, all the xml files that i want to run and now i am going to run this xml files okay so if i run this automation.xml first it will run the test from the test ng suit1.xml and once it is done, it will uh, execute from the test ng suit 2.xml. Okay, so in the test ng uh, suit 1, we have Amazon test, right? So that's why it is running the Amazon test. So here you can see we are going to run the Amazon test, right? And in the second test ng XML, we are going to test the flip card. Okay, so suit one is completed. Now this is the second test ng XML. So this is the flip card on the Firefox now. So test ng execution has completed. So in the suit one, we have run the Amazon test on Chrome and Firefox. And in the suit two, we have run the uh, Flipkart login test on the Chrome and Firefox. So this is how you can run the multiple test ng XML files. Okay, so in the interview, interviewer can ask you how you can run the multiple test ng suits files. Okay, so multiple test ng suit that means multiple test ng XMLs. Okay, so don't get confused if they use uh, the wording like this. How to run the multiple test ng suits? Okay, so test suits that means the test ng XML files, right? So one test ng XML file uh, represent one suit, right? So one test ng XML file can have only one suit, right? 
so if you want to create the multiple source then you need to require to create the multiple xml files like this right okay so this is how they are asking the how we can run the multiple test ng xml files in a single execution right so you just need to create a separate test ng xml file and just mention the details about your uh, xml files that you want to run okay so execution will happen sequentially okay so this execution will not happen in parallel okay keep in mind that uh, execution for the test from this test ng suit one dot xml will happen first okay and once it is done then this test ng uh, suit two xml file execution will start so that's all for this session guys uh, let me know if you have any question or queries in the comment section thank you